Let us start this lecture with a thought process from Benjamin Franklin, who says, tell me and I forget, teach me and I remember, involve me, I learn. This is a very wonderful statement so far the learning process is concerned. Unfortunately, that is not being practiced in modern time in the education system. So, it is very important to get involved in the process so that you can learn and you need not to struggle too much for that. And let us now recall the what we learned in the last lecture. We basically tried to derive the equations uh, for uh, a diffusional process of carbon sphere. Our objective is basically was to find out an expression for mass fraction of oxidizer. And uh, we had uh, derived in the fag end, I told that we will be going for the next lecture. So, what we will do? We will have to now apply the equation 12, we will have to use the equation 12 and apply the boundary condition that we know that at fuel surface. surface that is basically R is equal to R and we know that Y oxidizer need not to be 0, but we are considering the mass fraction of oxidizer is to be 0. As a result, the equation 12 becomes S R by rho D 1 by 2 is equal to ln y o oxidizer infinity plus 1 by f and this is just 1 by f because y ox is 0. So, then uh, if you look at I can simplify and write it down as s r by rho d 1 by 2. If you look at is basically cancel it out here provided if I multiplied with this f here right and then uh, about this one. So, this will cancel it out. So, what you will get is basically ln f y o x infinity plus 1. And I can write down as ln b c plus 1. And this b c is basically known as mass transfer number and some people call it also the Spalding number. Right. And uh, keep in mind that this is plays a very important in this case B C happens to be what? F Y O X infinity. This is the B C what we have looked at it basically this portion you know. And uh, when the surrounding uh, medium is only oxygen, what will happen? The if surrounding medium is only oxygen, basically uh, for oxygen medium y ox infinity will be what? Nothing but your 1. So, therefore, B C is basically nothing but your F that is fuel air um, ratio. And for air medium, Y oxygen infinity is nothing but your 0 0.232. So, therefore, B C is nothing but your 0 0.232 F. So, uh, this is uh, we should keep in mind, we are basically now considering the air as a surrounding medium. 
And we have already uh, seen in uh, earlier that L n y x plus 1 by f y o x infinity plus 1 by f is equal to minus L n b c plus 1 r by r. So, uh, because what we are doing we are basically using this equation 13 in uh, earlier expression for the y o x and we can get this. And if we will simplify this equation what we will get? We will get basically uh, is nothing but your ln b c plus 1 and I can write down power to the r by r. If I take the anti log of this what I will get? I will get uh, I can say this is 14 taking anti log of equation 14 we will get basically y o x plus 1 by f is equal to y o x infinity I am omitting one step which is very simple one that is b c plus 1 minus r by r. And uh, if you look at that I can get an expression for this which is very easy to get that is 1 by f and uh, b c uh, this will be minus 1 by f plus y o x infinity plus f b c plus 1 minus r by c r sorry capital r by small r. And if you uh, further simplify what you will get basically uh, if you look at 1 f is there you can take this uh, 1 f together and you will find I can write on that basically y uh, 1 by f if I take common of that I will get of course, uh, keep in mind that this I can write down as plus in y o x f if I look at I can write down f is into y o x infinite nothing but your b c I can write down in this place right. So, that I can get b c plus 1 divided by f right and b c plus 1 r by r. So, uh, that becomes basically if I take it out this will be y o x is nothing but your b c plus 1, 1 minus capital R by R minus 1 divided by f. So, this is your expression for y o x you can see this is basically the equation 15. So, now y o x is a function of this mass transfer number and also the fuel and oxidizer ratio and which is a function of r. At moderate temperature for small particle oxygen mass fraction you will get uh, basically we have seen this thing earlier just to summarize. And, uh, and this B c is the mass transfer number I have already uh, talked about it and derived it. So, uh, I can also get a expression y o x is b c plus 1 1 minus r by r minus 1 
with f. This is the expression what we had derived just now, right? And this is your basically equation 15 we have already. Now, if you uh, look at uh, basically various fuels like aluminum and boron like carbon of course, we have considered. So, you will find the different boiling point of the fuel I have given here and different mass fraction of the fuel will lead to various B C. Basically, this is about uh, uh, about the mass transfer of oxygen and air. And uh, if you consider the burning uh, time of the solid right, which will uh, take care of that and then uh, you will find that uh, if you will uh, now plot this thing you will get a expression basically oxygen which is at the 0 here. Uh, or a very small values and then it changes with respect to time and then it reaches asymptotic values at infinity. It is remaining constant and of course, the temperature and then uh, for different things we can get later on, but what we will do now we will basically look at uh, about the carbon burning rate. So, let us look at uh, carbon burning rate. That means, if I take a sphere and then we will have to find out uh, of carbon and I am considering in the r direction at the surface this is nothing but your r. So, we are considering that how much of the carbon particle uh, is getting consumed this is basically carbon sphere we are considering and this can be any other uh, fuel as a matter of fact, but keep in mind that this need not to be pyrolyzing this is basically a non pyrolyzing fuel. So, if I will consider the mass rate of conjunction of the fuel in this case it is carbon is nothing but your change in mass of the fuel with respect to time where mass is the m c is the mass of carbon particle and that uh, has to be evaluated um, uh, as uh, m c is nothing but your rho c that is the density of carbon and the volume of carbon this is basically density of carbon, carbon is basically fuel sphere and V c is the volume of fuel sphere what we are considering that I can write down as rho c pi d q by 6 and d d is basically the diameter of sphere at any instant of time that means this will be changing as uh, it get consumed so, it will be changing. Now, we know that uh, earlier that we have derived as derived earlier we that uh, find out as s, s is equal to carbon is nothing but a rho this is of course, the g I am just trying to differentiate that this rho is nothing but your gas phase and d 1 2 is 2 by d l n because r was there in place of r I am writing basically 1 by r was there. So, therefore, 2 by d l n 
B C plus 1. So, uh, now if you look at what is this m dot c, m dot c is nothing but your m dot c into a c that is the carbon uh, surface area which is nothing but your rho z d 1 2 and uh, 2 by d ln b c plus 1 into area, area will be basically 4 pi r square it is d by 2 whole square. So, this will cancel it out and uh, if you look at that you will get <coughs> uh, is basically you will get this d will cancel it out you will get rho g d 1 by 2 4 pi d ln b c plus 1. So, we know that uh, basically m c is nothing but your and if I look at this is equation I can say that this is a new equation number I am putting it here 1 and this may be the 2 equation number and this may be 3. So, therefore, let us look at now the equation 1 and then put this equation 1 a here and we will get m dot c by using equation 1 and 1 a we will get m c is m dot c is nothing but your rho c pi 3 by 6 d d square by d t which is uh, basically equation 4 I can say and that uh, is nothing but by using uh, by using equation 3 and 4 we can get rho pi by this is basically 2 1 by 2 d by d square t is equal to rho z d 1 2 4 pi d ln b c plus 1. So, if you look at this pi we will cancel it out and keep in mind that this is rho c and uh, so, therefore, we can write it down basically as d square by d t is 8 nothing but your rho z d 1 2. So, this d d will cancel it out by rho c ln b c plus 1. So, I will get basically equation 5 by integrating equation 5 we will get is T is equal to this is 0 to t and this is d t 0 to t 8 rho z d 1 2 by rho c ln b c plus 1 and d t. So, uh, if look at we will use this is basically equation c uh, we know that uh, initial condition at uh, t is equal to 0 the d will be d naught that is your initial diameter of sphere. So, therefore, when you will get this one you will uh, basically get that uh, 
as d square you can say the d square is equal to I can say this is as a constant this I can take as a constant k c k c t plus this is another constant. So, then implies that d naught square is equal to basically c and uh, therefore, you will get is d square law d naught square t is equal to d naught square minus k c t. So, uh, therefore, this is the very uh, equation what we have done this is known as d square law and it is similar to that of the what we had derived for the uh, derived for the liquid droplet combustion. So, uh, keep in mind that this uh, k c is basically the uh, involve lot of constant and also the transfer number. So, we will uh, stop over here and uh, in the next lecture we will be basically looking at how this d square law can be used to evaluate the burning uh, time lifetime of the uh, uh, lifetime of the carbon sphere or any other solid fuel and we will see various aspect in the next time. Thank you very much.